Well, Bill, I'm actually really glad you asked me to do this video, you know, since uh, I wasn't invited to be one of the roasters. And, uh, well, during the show, I don't usually get that much time to talk anyway. So let me just say that. Hey, Bill, just wanted to say uh, congratulations on your inf uh, rather illustrious uh, radio career. I think everybody in the room will agree that you're a huge ass set to the community, and uh, I want to thank you for all that you do. You're a, you're a great guy. Cheers. Hey, Bill, uh, I can think about just any reason why I wouldn't be there tonight, but either way, I hope you have a fun time. Uh, I am glad, as my grandfather said when I was practicing guitar, he was so he wanted me to get on the radio, and one of the big things for that is so he could turn me off, and I guess that's probably the best thing is you being on the radio so I can always turn it off. Anyways, have a remarkable night tonight. Uh, I hope they got a little stepping stool for you to get up to the podium, and outside of that, I'm looking forward to having some beers with you, pal. Bye. I'm flattered to be asked to do this. Uh, Utica celebrity roast of Bill Keeler. It's hard to become a celebrity in a place that already has Charlie Seeley. Well, good evening, everyone. It's truly an honor to be here uh, roasting one of the most famous radio personalities in the entire Mohawk Valley. Of course, when I first agreed to do this, I thought I'd be roasting Mark Wahlberg. Hey, uh, Bill, sorry I can't be there tonight, but unlike what you've not continuously done in life, I have to work. When I heard WIBX was hiring Bill Keeler, I thought to myself, what are they doing? And I sure hope their liability insurance is paid up. I see that I'm the only former on-air partner of Bill's that decided to, uh, you know, come out for the special evening. I guess that leaves me as the only one who isn't dead, he hasn't punched in public, or he doesn't owe money to. We all know that Bill's a little vertically challenged, uh, but I can tell you that there is no truth to the urban legend that you can see Bill's feet on his driver's license picture. A couple of the things that I've worked with Bill on, uh, let's talk about the toy drive first. Actually, the toy drive started again back at one of the radio stations Bill was fired from. This lady who called you this morning, Josephine, did she actually show up tonight? We want to meet this woman because she's the only person we've ever heard say, I have nothing bad to say about you. Bill had this idea that since Flint, Michigan was having their water problem, that we would see if we could collect water here in Utica, New York. So Bill called me up, Tom, can you let me use a small truck? Sure, Bill. Two hours later, Bill calls me back and he says, Tom, we need a bigger truck. Four hours later, Bill calls me back and says, the truck is full, we need a tractor trailer. But as you can see from the way this is all going, Bill has good ideas, but as many of you know, he has a good idea and that's where it all ends. Right after we were fired from 92.7, I had no money, my car had been repoed, I was depressed. My friends and family were tired of my freeloading. I was doing drugs. I was staying out all night. I was sleeping all day. I defaulted on my student loans. And Bill, like the great beacon of hope, texts me one day and it reads, I have our next project. Come over tonight at 5. It's going to be big. This is going to be it. The last puzzle piece is coming together. No more drugs. No more drinking. No more staying up all night. And that's when he tried to convince me to sign up for the Amba Energy Pyramid Scheme. We in the Mohawk Valley, we're about second chances. In your case, 20 second chances. Allison, you're a saint. We love you. Thank you for all that you do for us, okay? You have to deal with him every day. We only have to put up with him in the morning. I hope you raise a lot of money for the Herkimer Historical Society bill. Thank you for all the efforts you put into this area. In all seriousness, Bill, I, I want to say uh, congratulations. It's truly an honor to uh, be roasted, and uh, you've done a lot of great things. Oh, hold on one second. I'm getting a, a call coming in here. Hang on, it's Joe Marino. Joe. Yeah, I'm just doing a roast for, uh, for uh, Bill Keeler. Yeah, I know how much you love Bill. You want me to ask him what? I'll, I'll ask, but I don't think he'll do it. That'd be pretty embarrassing. Uh, Bill, uh, Joe wants to know if you'll umpire his son's uh, first baseball game next spring. He has a, a score to settle with you.